Hi guys. So, um, a lot has happened in the NXT community. Um, I've been very critical uh, on the forums the past uh, week. And um, yeah, uh, it doesn't look very good. Um, I launched a poll um, with a proposition and I got no support. Uh, so almost everyone uh, don't think it's a good idea. So I propose to increase the to start increasing the amount of uh, NXT in circulation and uh, start paying people uh, decently uh, that way. Um, so yeah, uh, I understand the big uh, resistance to that. Uh, of course, I would have also said no uh, to that uh, only one month ago. So, so um, if somebody comes with, with the idea, of, hey, let's increase this, uh, the amount of bitcoins in circles. Let's start increasing the amount eh, beyond the uh, agreed upon uh, limited uh, set um, to pay people. Of course, there is strong resistance to that. I understand that, but um, uh, yeah, I think. Um, in order to build something you shouldn't uh, stick to uh, ideals that are technical um, like a limited supply is a it's a way to achieve something um, uh, but people think it's the end it's it's what needs to be achieved but that's not the case um, you have a limited supply it's for a purpose the purpose is to have your money uh, to preserve its purchasing power uh, that's the purpose so that's why people from Austrian economic school and seemingly a lot of people in the NXT community um, uh, believe uh, that uh, that that's um, that's uh, a very good thing to have and to keep but um, if the goal is uh, to keep your purchasing power then um, I think a limited supply can actually cause you to lose your purchasing power. Um, um, because, you know, we're in a new environment here, a free market of, of currencies. So, uh, why, why did we want the limited supply? Well, because um, in the fiat world, uh, the central banks, they, 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 they print way too much and they don't get um, they don't buy value with the newly issued currency they basically give it away to people that don't give much value in return and so the purchasing power of the money goes down that's why you have for many hundreds of years we have had a movement uh, in society that says that they shouldn't be doing that and they should print only the amount of money that the economy is growing the, and the economy is grow about two percent or so so if you create more two percent more currency per year then the value of your money won't go down but that's not true uh, <laughs> that's not true I, 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 I've, I've realized that because they say because you have two percent more goods more real estate more, more land and so when you have two percent more uh, uh, money in circulation that's okay uh, actually, no, that is true. Huh? Uh, but um, you could have even better if you don't print 2% more uh, than actually every year your money will go up in value. If you wouldn't print any more money, your money would go up in value uh, with 2% per year. But that's only because there is a monopoly of money. Huh? Um, that's because no one else is allowed to create money and to compete with your money. And then, of course, if that's the only money... Uh, and nobody creates more of it, then you will be able to buy more every year with the same amount of money. And because every year people get better in creating stuff, they get better, they, they will be able to produce the same next year for 2% cheaper. So you will be able to, present, uh, to buy 2% more. But that's in the old world, uh, the new world is here that we have competing currencies and so... Um, uh, then uh, a currency becomes much more like a um, uh, a stock uh, the currency the value of the currency will depend on how many people use it 
because in a monopoly everybody uses it and continues to use it but in a free market that's not the case um, it will go up or down and so um, if people lose interest in holding that currency and if it's a limited supply then the value will go down people value it less huh? less people value it and so um, so if that limited supply causes uh, people to use it less and less or causes it to not be able to uh, yeah then, then the value will go down even though it's a limited supply and um, uh, but what I think is the problem uh, with uh, NXT I've explained it in length on the forums is uh, and with Bitcoin too is that uh, because it's a limited supply um, the developers they don't get paid uh, directly from the currency or from the fees that the currency is generating or from the amount of or from newly issued coins uh, and and so they must uh, found uh, find income elsewhere and so they start com working for companies that don't have the interest of the coin holders uh, at heart um, and, and the developers are not financially like making money whether uh, the amount of users is going up or down that doesn't matter for them they are not coin holders they work they make their money different in a different way and I, I don't think that's a good situation um, uh, that's that's really not a good situation uh, people protect that uh, kind of business model by uh, referring to the open source world where uh, Linux is also developed um, for example um, with different companies around it trying to make money on it uh, but the core is developed uh, open source and nobody makes money on that and, and the developers are paid by companies but the problem is Linux doesn't have shareholders, doesn't have coin holders, uh, but the currency does. So it's very important that uh, the coin holders uh, make profit, that the value of the coin goes up. Uh, of course, if you don't think that's the case, well, then we differ in opinion and uh, strongly in opinion. There's no use to talk with each other, but um, I think. Uh, uh, the value of the currency should go up hmm? uh, based on the success of the currency the, based on how the, the currency succeeds in getting adopted in being valued uh, the currency should go up in value and so uh, I want uh, people and developers and marketeers that uh, are directly profiting from that if they do that job good and I've come to realize that's not the case in NXT um, and also not in Bitcoin um, and that's a big problem I thought it wasn't a big problem I thought that these people would also have coins I would just work for to increase the value of their coins as I have done the past two years but no they um, some do others don't but it's understandable that that doesn't work I mean you can't ask people to pay uh, to get shares in the company and then uh... <laughs> yeah it's very beautiful here well for Belgian norms it's very beautiful here it's uh, industrial and uh, actually not that uh, clean but um, no well so um, the limited supply in 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 in, in well, well the thing is um, I, I've really thought hard how how we can keep that limited supply uh, and that is possible uh, while also having the interests uh, while also the developers are getting paid. Um, by the currency's success and that's with um, fees I, you could also do taxation uh, uh, taking coins from everyone by, by, uh, uh, but I, I don't think that's a good model uh, although you could uh, vote on that uh, a majority vote on that you could do that but that's the same as uh, increasing the supply um, but it's not very like it's just the wrong process 
So yeah, these guys are having fun. Um, I think companies have already for us shown how you do this. Uh, they just create new shares and they give that to investors that uh, put money in the company or they give that to, to attract talent, uh, to talent that enters the company or as bonuses. They issue new shares, uh, but they make sure that with every uh, issuance it's a profitable deal, that they get more value in return than they give. Um, that's um, a very good model. Uh, of course they could say, no, let's take shares from all shareholders and give that to the investor, but what, that's not necessary, you can just create more. Uh, but it's the same effect, of course, you dilute shareholders but if you get enough value or more value in return, they make a profit. Um, so, so for a currency, um, you can do that. You can also try to charge fees, which I was proposing uh, two, three weeks ago. Let's start to ask smart fees uh, on the on the network in the currency, and Bitcoin is starting to do that, asking a lot more fees for its transactions. Uh, NXT could start to do that too, but um, thinking more about it, I don't think it's the right model. Um, I'm thinking about the startups uh, during the internet boom. I think we have uh, something similar going on today in the, for currencies. It's a new um, market, and um, and so what you saw was that, uh, with the exception of a few, most business models chose to offer their services for free. And um, and uh, uh, and only later started to, to offer extra services. Uh, only when they had the network effect in their favor, and when they had strong network effect, and then they would start focusing on making money and implant, implementing a business model, and either offer advertising or or uh, premium services uh, to pay. Um, so so I'm thinking about uh, YouTube, Google. Uh, these kind of things, Facebook, uh, eBay is an exception, um, but um, that was able to charge fees from the start, but um, most do a free model. Uh, but um, yeah, for us, there is strong resistance in NXT community, even for a one NXT uh, fee per transaction. So I think uh, we could improve uh, our uh, network uh, by actually asking no fees um, um, and uh, if we indeed uh, start paying people uh, with uh, issuing currency then we could do that um, which I think would be a very good step in the right direction um, I'm not talking about technical details I'm focused on business models eh? of course when you offer free stuff and, and it's successful you get all, all kind of uh, technical challenges eh? But I think the programming should be uh, not leading uh, how things are done, but there should be an interaction between what's best for the business model, what's technically possible as a programmer, and then you pick something. But the way NXT currently is going is it's, it's just the programming <laughs> deciding, uh, making all decisions about what fees to uh, implement and. Uh, what business model to uh, to uh, realize and I don't agree with that uh, any longer uh, so yeah uh, for me I don't think it's uh, I think it's been a real 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 big mistake to change from the the, 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 the copyright model uh, from um, a mid license to a GPL license that happened six months ago or so and that changed the interests of coin holders and uh, developers. Suddenly, developers had uh, a copyright uh, to sell, uh, had the copyright, and were able to sell private licenses for money. And of course, that's what's the big uh, business opportunity here. They think I don't think that, but they think that. It's just looking short term, in my opinion. As I mentioned in the other video, in the internet boom, everybody wants a website. So if you start building websites, you make money immediately. And you don't have to do the difficult thing, which is to really create an innovating internet business. Um, and the same is happening today with NXT. A lot of companies approach developers and also the NXT Foundation 
and uh, and uh, they uh, they want their own private blockchain and so they want to make money that way and for me I can't trust the design anymore of Jean-Luc because I have the impression it starts to really influence how he is designing NXT fo focusing fully on fully on scaling while while the blockchain is basically the public blockchain is dying in users uh, he's 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 going to update the software to scale um i know i am uh, having a very different opinion here uh it is indeed uh something that's hot in the cryptocurrency world um but um yeah uh and, and of course it is possible that if nxe 2.0 is developed and it can scale a lot the speculators will value it highly because of it it's able to do that but that's possible eh? but um I'm not seeing it anymore. Um, what is clearly interesting is if if they have the copyright, is that of course it should scale. They can't sell the like these companies that want to pay serious money to have a private blockchain. They are probably banks or or big institutions that want um, a lot of uh, transactions per second to be possible. So for them, it's probably very important to scale it up. But for the public blockchain, we have so many other challenges that we need to first handle. And the problem is that by this new design, it's making it even worse for the public blockchain, chasing away uh, our our most, the only thing we really have going for the public blockchain, which is the asset exchange. And so, yeah, I, I really think that uh, NXT is becoming a technology demo. Uh, to sell private licenses, that's that's my impression. Somebody else said that Muddy83 on the NXT forum, but uh, that's uh, I'm, uh, that's how I that's my impression too. And I'm very disappointed that uh, the developers have abandoned um, the goal to create value for the NXT, the public blockchain. They say they don't, and that's why it's such a big conflict on the forums. But yeah, I mean, that's the situation. The amount of users is going down instead of up. So uh, it's it's a real problem. And you know, I'm an investor. I cannot like deny that, and I cannot continue to just feed myself with hope on a better future when the reality isn't there. Uh, like that, there's just I could do that as long as all altcoins were in a bear market. I could see like, okay, this is still within the range of normal uh, volatility for a uh, cryptocurrency uh, that it goes up and then down a bit in users. But since the last three months, other uh, cryptocurrencies have gone up a lot in value and probably users too. I didn't check that, but probably. And... Um, that means that NXT is just not uh, performing as it could uh, perform. And so if I look at these other cryptocurrencies, what they do is something very different. They pay their people, their developers directly from the blockchain by issuing new coins. And that way they can uh, offer their service for free like Ethereum Dash. And um, that's the business model. So think we should uh, also do that and um, we can do it a lot better than them but uh, we have to make this click and um, currently the NXT community is not uh, following me there so yeah um, yeah um, I think um, I want to re realize my goal uh, and that is to make cryptocurrency popular uh, that the common man can use it and um, I thought NXT was the right direction better than uh, than, than Bitcoin but uh, and it has of course advantages yeah, it's it's much cheaper to secure the network it's much more safe but you need so much more to make success with the uh, common man and um, 
even Bitcoin uh, won't achieve that uh, due to a lack of a business model. Uh, and I don't think, uh, well, I think something like that. She's actually doing a much better job. Um, maybe one or two, I don't know, I haven't studied that in depth, but I know Dash has uh, an inflation and uh, pays uh, everybody from this inflation. That's already a lot better. But I think we can make it a lot better than that too. But, yeah, I'm interested to start my own coin. Uh, I'm thinking about that uh, and I would... Uh, I would do uh, what I also like about Dash is they have a voting procedure eh? so so they vote so in a more decentralized way what people and what projects get funding and what not eh? um, so so I like that very much mm. hello hello <laughs> So, uh, I think we could do something like that uh, also. Uh, but yeah, I don't have the support in NXT to do that. Uh, I'm thinking what else I can say. Um, I'm of course a little bit sad. Uh, about the fights uh, going on that I have uh, started and uh, and uh, that I also uh, but yeah I haven't really succeeded in <sighs> yeah the only for NXT what's happening is that uh, most people support NXT 2.0 being developed but most people don't support that there is an ICO being done so they are now a little bit stuck uh, because they do need funding uh, in the long term uh, to start paying uh, devs decently and uh, I'm also not willing to cooperate with that for uh, right now and, and to vote for funding uh, for an ICO which means diluting my uh, ownership uh, and giving serious funding to uh, the developers uh, just like that uh, and, and getting nothing in exchange no because I really don't think they they, they uh, have treated us well uh, the coin holders okay they developed a lot of software that's true eh? but they took the copyright uh, and gave it to themselves uh, now they build a business on that that's really not uh, really not nice And um, they're not taking ownership, always blaming on a lack of funding. While there are no users or the users are not going up, there's always someone else's fault. Eh? It's a lack of funding. Or I'm an investor. I can judge the management. Eh? Like they're now like playing the card. Like yeah, but you're just like it's easy to judge. Yeah, but that's what I need to do as an investor. Eh? I need to judge what's happening with my investment and I judge the management eh? that's my job as an investor eh? I have to ask myself okay this thing is going down why is the management making mistakes okay what mistakes are they making can it be fixed okay let's try eh? but if the management says fuck you Mark then I cannot just sit there and see my investment go to zero then I would fail I would lose all my money and I can find another job <laughs> so 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 it's like it's not like I, I have a choice here to like oh let's just like be constructive and and not let's not point out what's going wrong here and and let's just uh, be friendly and supportive eh? uh, and, 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 and 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 like I did the past two years yeah uh, no not if the results are not there no then 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 I need to start speak up So, I, I'm okay to give them funding or to help to give them funding, but I want that the decision makers start to make other decisions and I don't trust them to make other decisions because they are not taking responsibility for the wrong decisions they took and they have other interests than the coin holder. So, funding in exchange for control. So, what I propose is, okay, 
I control to issue more currency. Okay, they don't want that. What I propose now is then, okay, let's do an ICO. Uh, I will I will cooperate with that. But the funds received are spent based on what the coin holders vote, huh? and not what Jean-Luc or Bas want. Huh? Uh, but what the coin holders vote and nothing else. So I'm, I'm willing to cooperate with that. Uh, and I think much better decisions will be made than that are in the interests that the money is spent only in the interests of developing, uh, attracting users to the blo public blockchain. And that's what I want to do. And then if Jean-Luc and Bas are working on that, they get funded and otherwise not. So yeah, I'm very, like for me, it's like a change, like no more. <laughs> I, I'm not like taking this anymore. Uh, so yeah, and I think it's very good. I think that makes a difference between a, 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 an organization that doesn't have owners and an organization that has. Eh? Uh, the difference is that owners really care. They don't accept that you destroy their property eh? or that you don't do, don't, don't create value for them. Then they, then you don't get their money. Eh? And that's what we need to start doing here as coin haulers. But yeah, in a, in a free market, it may be much more interesting for me to start my own coin because I have not much support in the NXT community. And uh, financially, it's probably much more interesting for me to start on my own. And I will have much more control over what uh, was being done because here I could pro... I don't have it, but maybe I can succeed in, in getting more influence or the coin holders getting much more influence on the decisions made. But considering Jean-Luc has gone as it has been like the sole decider up until today, it's unlikely he's going to like really do what I want he's just probably gonna allow me to do some shit on my own but you can't really attract users to the public blockchain if the programmer doesn't do certain things that are necessary to do like for example I launched a poll the poll only is possible for one week and a half but if I want to build a use case around polls then yeah, I, I need his cooperation to change these things and I don't have a relationship with him. I can't really judge whether that would be possible. Uh, so it seems I'm really uh, moving out of the NXT community. I'll probably be selling my NXT uh, slowly but steadily in the future then once I made a decision. Uh, although, my, I mean, yeah, uh, it, it just that I realized that Bitcoin and NXT are on the wrong track here, but um, but many other uh, uh, cryptocurrencies too. It's 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 very few that uh, pay their uh, developers themselves. So, but I I start to realize it's really a, it should be an essential ingredient um, of a, of a successful cryptocurrency is that that it's built on um, that the interests between developers uh, coin holders marketeers is aligned they have the same interests like in a business they have all the same interests they all want the company to make profit and and that's very important i think so peace out bye